Hello, in this lesson on Scratch, we're gonna be working with the paint feature, which is this tab right up here. So I'm gonna show you how to use the paint feature. Now, if you notice, the cat sprite is highlighted. So we can click, it says costume here. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is the painting of the cat. So if I move my mouse around, you can kind of see the little rectangle, the blue rectangle. That means I can drag that off and I can do things with that. Well, one thing you notice, there's the eyeballs here and the nose. These are all grouped together. You can kind of tell by that blue rectangle around everything. So when I highlight that, remember, here's the select button with it highlighted. I can actually ungroup that. So now I'm gonna click my mouse somewhere and then I'm gonna move the mouse back. And now the blue rectangle is around individual pieces of, the, of this cat. So you can kind of play around and make something kind of goofy. If you don't like all that, there's the undo feature up here. You can kind of put it all back together again. Now, when you paint a sprite like this, let's go over here and I'm gonna create a new sprite. Now I'm not gonna click on choosing, I'm gonna select the paint up here. So when I select paint, now a new sprite is highlighted and I have a blank area here in the workspace. So now I could take the circle, let's say the circle here, and I can draw a circle. Now you notice it's purple. That's because the fill up here is purple and there is no outline. So if I come over to the right, I can actually increase the outline size by clicking the mouse. And if you notice here, there is a black outline now on the circle because that's the outline. So this is the size of the outline that you can work with. So if I come over here and grab the rectangle, I can move my mouse and hold it down and I can create a rectangle. Here's a tip, if you hold the shift key down, then the rectangle is a square. So I've got the shift key holding down and I'm moving my mouse. When I let go of the shift key, then I can create a different size rectangle. So the fill color, if I click on fill, there's different little sliders here that you can play with to have different colors. So you can see it's highlighted, that's why it's changing colors. And just click the mouse, and that goes away. So you can draw circles, here's the line. One thing about the line, when I click on it, it comes up here, this is how thick it's going to be. So if I drag my mouse, that's how thick it is. I can always change that, make it smaller, and draw another line, and now it's a smaller one. So this is the size of it. Here's your undo, you can group things. Hey, let, let's try this, I'm gonna grab the select button, Take my rectangle. See how it's in front of the circle now? Well, maybe I want the rectangle in back of the circle. In fact, here's my circle. If I right click on it, oh, let's try this. I want to make a duplicate of it. So I'm going to copy it and then paste. And now I've got Almost looks like a wagon, doesn't it? So that's how you can draw things. You can flip them around vertically, horizontally, make copies and paste. Here's the eraser. So you can kind of erase things that you don't want. One of my favorites though is this one here. Let me undo this. I wanna get rid of my erasers. Oop, you gotta watch out. Always select the select button here uh, as a default location. So I'm gonna take this. And now I'm going to zoom in a little and raise that up because I want to see that circle. This button here is called reshape. And this one is a lot of fun to use. If you select it and then click on the symbol, little handles, these little blue dots here, those are handles you can use with the mouse. And now you can reshape things the way you want. So you could actually make some really goofy looking shape here. So I like this reshape button, that's kind of fun. 
Uh, painting is a brush, so you could fill it in. So let's grab a new color here. And now if I click on this, I can kind of paint my own uh, inside of that little thing. Uh, if I grab the actual paint can, then the whole thing fills in. So let me go back and see everything. That's this button over here with the equal sign. That kind of reverts it back to normal size. So that's how you can use this one. Now there's a button on the bottom here called Convert to Bitmap. The drawing that you're making right now is called a vector drawing. Let me zoom in on this line here. See how nice and straight it is? Try to always stay in this vector view because everything is beautifully straight. If you convert this drawing to a bitmap, now it's got little edges on here. In fact, the whole drawing is that way. If I look at my circle over here, let me kind of zoom in, everything is a bitmap, which means it's got like, oh, I just clicked on that. Everything has a different feel to it. So I don't know if I prefer the bitmap. I'm going to go back to vector and work in that vector drawing. Now, if you ever play with all this and you go, want to go back to normal, you can always delete the sprite and you go back to this one and you can also paint a new one. Now, the backdrop has a paint capability also. So if I select that, now the tab up here, if you notice, is backdrop. So you can create your own backdrop if you wish. So you can always come over here and paint a new sprite or paint a new backdrop, but I would always try to stay in vector mode and not convert to bitmap. So stay in this drawing here and uh, you can have a lot of fun with that. Now, if you really want to go back to normal and everything back to the way it started, come up here to the file button up on top and click that and select new. And that's going to replace everything with the default brand new project. So now you're back to uh, square one, so to speak. So that's how you use this paint feature. So you could create sprites and backdrop and then go back to the code and make sure you're writing code for the correct sprite that you've chosen. All right, enjoy everyone.